Hey folks, Dave Beanard here with W Design. So what I'm doing now, and this is just part three of the series that I'm doing, uh, I installed the camera, got the camera set up and calibrated and configured in the Lightburn software. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to use the camera. So what I've done is I put a piece of material here that is already well used uh, that has a lot of cutouts in it, has a lot of free space here, a little bit here, not really usable. I would never really probably use that in a, a, an actual use case. A little bit here, same thing, probably wouldn't bother using it. But what we're going to do is we're going to just check the accuracy of the camera. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my camera tab, and I'm going to update the overlay. So you can see that we've got the overlay there. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and have it do a trace. So what it's going to do is it's going to select everything it can see on the screen, and it's going to trace it. So that's cool. Uh, all right, so we'll just say OK. It's good enough for this purpose. I don't really care if it's perfect. So we did a trace. Now everything is selected. I'm going to go ungroup that. And I'm going to select outside of there. Now, um, I this already showed up on my tool layer because tool layer is the last thing I use. So that's great. All these are on the tool layer. That's where we want them to be. Now that they're ungrouped, I can go individually select the outline of this circle here. And we're just going to do an offset. So we're just kind of testing the accuracy to see how the camera's doing when it's up in the upper center area of the uh, the material. So we'll do an offset here. From that offset, we're going to do outward, and we're going to do three millimeters. So that three millimeter offset is actually also on one of the tool layers. We're going to move it to the blue layer. Uh, it's by default 100 millimeters a second at 30% power. We are good with that. So what that's going to do for us is that's just going to engrave around that. So we can also go ahead and test the bottom. So from there, we'll just make sure we've got our arrow selected. We're going to select that bottom one. We're going to select offset. We'll just leave it at three. It's going to go off the edge a little bit. Actually, we will uh, need to uh, move that in some because it's going to go off of our bed area. Uh, so it's going to balk at us. So uh, I've got the padlock undone. We'll just move that back in. So it'll be three millimeters up here and then it'll just go into the uh, already pre-cut out area there. And then why don't we go ahead and just out of curiosity, see how well we can do here in the bottom left. So in the bottom left, we can go ahead and just draw ourselves a little rectangle there. And then out of curiosity again, top right, let's see where we're at there as well. So I'll move that down a little bit because presumably that's right off the edge of the material. And then I'm going to do a little square in the front right as well. So we can also see how close everything is going to be here. Uh, so we could actually say, hey, let's uh, let's draw something. Let's draw something freehand right here and see how well that would fit. And presumably that's going to fit just fine. Uh, but we'll know once we cut it. All right, or actually once we uh, run the vectors there. Okay, let's close the lid and see how accurate that turns out. All right, uh, everything's set on the same layer. We're going to go ahead and hit start and see. All right. how well you guys can see that but we'll uh, assess here in a second okay 
So what we've got here is we've got a three millimeter offset here. It is probably not quite three. It's, but three millimeters, of course, isn't that much. Uh, let's see here. So the offset looks to be about 1.7 over there, none over here. So a um, little bit off there, but we can we can certainly compensate for that in light burn. As far as the square, this section here and this goes, that's all pretty close. Uh, I, I'm going to say this is pretty good. Um, I don't think this warrants any additional tweaking and calibration to make it work any better at this point. Because if I put a bag in here, if I put something in here, uh, typically I'm going to go ahead and put a little piece of wood or something on top of it and just do a test outline uh, and make sure that it's about where I want it to be if it's something that's extremely critical and one of a kind. Uh, so I'm not really too worried about it. Uh, I may tweak and refine it a little bit, but I'd say it's pretty good. All right, that's all I got for you. Talk to you guys later.